there's nothing like the look and feel of something handcrafted, and particularly pottery. There's an earthiness about it and a beauty about it. I'm here at Mud and Maker in Pottsville, and this is Stephanie Premich, and she's the owner and the potter here. Yes. And today, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're actually going to make Boilo. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about it. It's kind of an ethnic drink, right? It is. It's a very um, regional drink, very hyper local to Schuylkill County specifically. Um, a lot of the people that know about Boilo and that love Boilo and drink it either were from here originally or maybe have a friend from here. Boilo is like a hot toddy is really the easiest way of explaining it. It's alcohol based typically, mm -hmm. um, but we're going to show you. You can choose to put alcohol in it or you can have it be all ages friendly. Yes. Um, and it has mulling spices, apples, cinnamon, citrus fruits. We're, today we're gonna be making cranberry, um, nice. which is a really good twist for Christmas season. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's really, really great warm drink on a cold day. Yeah. Okay, well let's get started. All right, so the base of Boilo is citrus fruits. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with four apples and four oranges. So okay. you slice those and put them in your crock pot. Right. And Boilo is interesting because, um, as you said, it's very regional. A lot of the coal miners drink it. So yeah. it kind of has a lot of history locally to many of the folks. It's in really our area. great for if you have a sore, scratchy throat. Mm -hmm. I think that was a really big part of it of people who were working in the coal mine. Yes. You come home, you have that dry, scratchy throat from working in the mine all day. Soothing. You want something soothing. Yep. The whiskey's going to kind of numb it. Yep. So, especially this time of year, if you have the sniffles, mm -hmm. this is like a cure all because we're going to have honey in it, which soothes a cough. Whiskey's going to calm it down a little bit. And of course, the, the citrus. C. Is mm -hmm. going to have lots of vitamin C and all kinds of good stuff yep. in there. It too. all makes sense, right? Um, then we're going to also going to add four apples. So okay. we got four oranges, four apples, all going to go in the crock pot, skins and all. Okay. And I don't put the cores in though. All right. And then we're going to do a lemon. All right. Same as the orange, the whole fruit can just go right in there, big slices. All right. It's super customizable. If you don't want to do lemons, you just want to do all oranges, that's fine. If you want to do all lemons, not oranges, that's right. fine. And everybody seems to have a recipe. Right? Everyone, <laughs> an anyone you talk to is going to have an opinion and a recipe <laughs> of what they think should go in there. Since we're making cranberry today, we're gonna use fresh cranberries. Mm -hmm. Usually about a bag or so of fresh cranberries will do the trick. Okay. And then cinnamon sticks. And then mulling spices. Ooh, they're my favorite. So some people will do their own blend of right. either cloves or cardamom, whatever they're gonna do. I just buy store mulling spices, okay. this is really great. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is honey. Mm -hmm. um, honey's gonna give it a little bit of sweetness. We use local honey from Schuylkill Haven right next door right. here to Pottsville. For the base of the cranberry boilo that we make, I usually use apple cider and cranberry juice. Okay. So for the apple cider, same thing. Fresh squeezed local apple nice. cider <laughs> is really great. Couple cups in there will do the trick. And then also, for the cranberry, I use no sugar added fresh cranberry juice. Great. So we got a couple cups of cranberry juice in there. So from here, if you're making a non-alcoholic boilo, you can just let it simmer and it'll be like a nice mold cranberry cider. But traditionally, yes. you're gonna add a little bit of booze. Exactly. Um, so we like to use Everclear. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give it a nice clean taste. Okay. Kick it up a bunch. And then also four queens. So, right. And that's whiskey, right? That is whiskey. This right. is the traditional, you're gonna find this at any Pennsylvania liquor store in Schuylkill County. I'm pretty sure Schuylkill County single-handedly keeps <laughs> four queens in business. Um, so you're gonna add a couple cups of that. I know it looks like a lot, but a lot of that booze is gonna cook off yeah. as it simmers. Okay. All right, so that's it for the ingredients. We got everything in a crock pot here. So what you're gonna do, you just put your lid back on, turn it on high right. for about three or four hours. Um, all the fruit's going to simmer down. It's all gonna mull together and you're gonna be ready to drink it soon. So this Boilo mix right here, mm -hmm. that is made in Ashland. That's basically kind of the quick and easy, fast way to make Boilo. You buy the mix um, and then you add whatever you like to it for liquids. And then the Boilo candles, these have been flying off the shelves oh. this year. We designed the labels here at Mud and Maker. Nice. And then our great friends at Candels, they're based in Hazleton, they pour the candles for us. And what's this here? That's the Boilo chapstick. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, so we got the Boilo Chapstick. Long Winter Farm is the company that makes those. And then, of course, the signs. So we have these little signs God, here. Hysterical. Yeah, so we designed those signs. Um, we came up with the sayings here at Money Maker, and then they're made in Warrington, Pennsylvania, by our really great friends, Oh Hello Dear. And you can buy all those things right here in our store, of course, in Pottsville, and we also have them on our online store. So this has been simmering for about three or four hours until all the fruit gets soft. So we're just gonna take this guy, pour it right over a bowl mm -hmm. with a mesh. Okay. So from here, you can either jar it or you can drink it right away. Okay. So typically, boil is a giftable item that a lot of people will make at nice. the holidays. Yeah. Um, traditionally, you either put it right back in the liquor bottle mm -hmm. or you put it in a mason jar. Nice. Um, okay. I like to put it in a mason jar. I do too. It's a little bit more giftable yeah. um, and festive. Put a little bit of ribbon around there with a gift tag and then you're good to go. There so go. everyone makes their own style of boilo, but a lot of times what we do is we'll pair it with a cup. So with the jar of boilo that we give them, we give them a boilo cup that goes with it. I um, love it. So we have the, the big guys and of course the little tiny shot glasses too. These are adorable. So you pair them together with a little gift tag and you have a very giftable homemade boilo treat. Stephanie, thank you so much for showing us how to make boilo. This has been really fun. Thank you so much for coming. We're really excited to teach everyone how to make some cups next. Yes, we're gonna go upstairs to the studio where Stephanie's going to have a class and we're going to learn how to make the boilo cups. Yes. One of the popular classes during the holidays here at Mud and Maker in Pottsville is the Boilo Shot Glass class. And that's what we're doing today, right Stephanie? Yeah, so today we're making Boilo Shot Glasses out of clay. Um, clay is really great for this because it keeps hot things hot and cold things cold. It has really great thermal properties oh, nice. for that, just naturally. Um, so our clay comes from Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. um, everything is non-toxic, washes right out of your clothes. We do classes for all ages. Nice. But the shot glasses, of course, are geared more towards for adults. Of course. So at the class, you get to make four. Um, nice. So with that, you can make Boilo specifically themed ones. Mm -hmm. You can do Christmas specifically themed ones. You can put zombies on them, right. whatever you want to do. We have tons of different decorations for different things that you can put on your projects. Okay. So the first step is we give everyone their clay and what they need to do is they need to roll it out. So what they're doing now is they're using wooden rolling pins to roll out their clay. This is gonna get it started before we put it through the roller first. Do you have to add water or anything to this or it's basically damp enough that you could start rolling? Our clay comes um, ready to go. So when you dig up clay from the ground, it of course has lots of rocks and grass and dirt and everything in it. So there are people who dig up their clay locally, um, but we buy pre-processed clay. We go through about 10 tons of clay a year. All right, so once the projects are about an eighth inch thick or so, once they roll them out, we're gonna take them over to the slab roller. The slab roller is kind of like a pasta roller for clay, is really the best way of thinking of it. It's gonna give you a really nice even slab. So when we start to assemble them, they're gonna be uniform. Right, all right. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to smooth out the texture. When we put it through the roller, um, we get a little bit of a canvas texture on there, which mm -hmm. is not always desirable. All right. So we're gonna use what's called a metal rib, and we're going to smooth it out. So you'll see immediately that it starts to yep, smooth Yep, you'll out. see All immediately right. that it starts to smooth out. And then after you do one side of your whole slab, you're gonna flip it over and you can do the other side. So the next thing we're gonna do, we have these, these are custom printed 3D templates that we had made for making the shot glasses. So with this, um, Jocelyn's gonna take this and she's just gonna mark off her clay. She's gonna make four different impressions. We're not gonna press all the way through. And from that, you're gonna create kind of like a little picture frame that we're gonna work in for decorating the next pieces. Okay. Next thing after they have their, um, their templates ready to go is we're gonna start doing customization. So with that, um, we have letters. So people will do names or dates or go eagles or whatever they may yeah. be putting on there. Um, so you get to do all different kinds of custom uh, pieces on there. We have tons of different stamps that people get to use too. Um, so a lot of times people will use these as gifts where they'll make their job 
our boilo and then whoever they're giving it to, they'll make a nice little custom piece for that. So once you guys find a stamp, you're gonna put it right in the smack dab in the middle of your template. So once you have it on, you're gonna press down. You don't wanna press too hard that you're gonna go through the other side, but give it a little wiggle too. Yep, so press down, give it a little wiggle. That's gonna get it in there good. All right, and then you're gonna peel it up, and there you go. Nice. Oh, that looks great. Awesome. So then also, you can spell Boilo right in the middle of your piece too. All right, and peel them off. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's cute. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut out all of our pieces when we're gonna start assembling. We're just gonna take that cutter, cut that right out, perfect. And we also need a bottom. So we just cut a bottom right out of the, oh, yeah, didn't think the of scraps. That. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. There we go. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the bottom right on top of the rolling pin there. And we're gonna assemble this by wrapping it around. And then we're gonna just rotate that guy and Jocelyn's gonna blend the seam together. So after you blend the seam together, you're gonna blend together all of the bottom too, so you don't see a line there anymore. All right, great. Then you have a little shot glass. Oh, so awesome. <laughs> So after everyone makes their projects, they have to stay here and dry for at least a week or two before they go in the kiln. They mm -hmm. go in the kiln the first time, it's 2,000 degrees, it's oh. as hot as a volcano, <laughs> um, and when they come out, they'll look like this. So they'll be hard, but they won't be shiny yet. So when you come back to paint, you'll pick your day to come back to paint while you're at class, mm -hmm. and then you come back and glaze it. So glaze is special paint that's just for clay. Goes back in the kiln again for a whole day. Gets as hot as a volcano. And when they come out, they'll be nice and bright and shiny like these guys. So you can choose to, to glaze your whole vessel or you can just dip the tops. Either one uh -huh. is a different effect. So all of our information is listed at mudandmaker.com. Um, we are at 6 South Center Street in Pottsville, right downtown. We're here working almost every single day of the week. If you're making a special trip, I recommend checking the website or giving us a yes. call before you head down. We, of course, ship. We ship the candles, we ship the lip balms, all of the Boilo goodies, shot glasses, um, and then our full list of classes is also online for all ages. Stephanie, thank you so much for Thanks showing. For this coming. has been so much fun. We really learned a lot and had a great time. Good. Thank you. Thanks, and a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays Merry to you. Merry Christmas to you as well. Thanks.